I don't think still people don't realize how great it is to watch what's happening inside the cow. It's minimal time he's searching for cows. It's okay here, boom, 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 out of the group. It's learning on this on our herd every day. It's a slam dunk, especially when you're coupled with your other technologies. Hi, I'm Luke Bookma. And I'm Nick Bookma. And we're here in the east coast of Canada, Nova Scotia, beautiful Shibanakadi. We're milking 350 cows on seven BMSs in a guided setup. And we're here to talk about the Dillaval Plus Behavior Analysis System. With these technologies, it's been, you know, it's bringing us back to that individual cow again. And it's, you know, they can just have a healthier, happier lifestyle and, and, and be more profitable at the end of the day. It's been really great to see rumination and basically all the data points we could want for breeding our cows to and, and keep them healthy. Having them all, you know, kind of come together and into a health model and into a concise report where, you know, it's, it's kind of hard not to, not to find that sick cow or to find that heat. It's been a great integration and it's very user friendly. Dell Pro is, you know, it's fantastic and, 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 and simple to use. We really love using that health index report. It's just loaded with data. And the, the big thing that we've always had missed is the rumination and you know eating time. Never had that data before. So now we're, we're getting a list populated of cows that aren't eating well, which is something we never been able to do. And it's something you always have to notice with your own eyes. And, and you know, we'd like to think we did a good job of that. But now it's, it's almost, instead of looking for the cows first in the flesh, we go to our reports and we say, hey, look, behavioral analysis is flagging. This cow is not eating well, not ruminating well. Let's go find her. Instead of scanning everybody to find her, we just go to her right away. And so it's been really handy to have that behavioral analysis system working for us. We actually had a, uh, a cow the other day that had a LDA and we were able to see just on the computer, we can kind of sense it was coming. You see the rumination is low and your eyeballs can see that she's in trouble. The robots and the progesterone analysis and the behavior analysis have been, been awesome. And we just have so much confidence in our heat detection systems here through the progesterone analysis and behavioral analysis. It's so hard to miss miss these cows in heat. It's, it's, it's amazing and, and to see every time a cow goes in heat and then to use that and, and add your behavioral analysis in and, and watch as her rumination drops and her activity picks up and basically you know just dial in that timing of insemination greatly so there's no questions about uh, someone's interpretation of the data because the behavior analysis comes in and says breed before 6 or 2 or p.m. or breed between these two times. You know exactly, you know, sometimes we see heats that we don't mind, we don't like how good the heats are and we'll pass on it. Like, who does that? If you see a cow need to pass on it, we don't like how good it is, we don't think it's going to be successful, we'll just say, nah, we'll get you next time because we know we're going to see you next time. The Laval Plus behavior analysis uh, system has definitely, you know, definitely added some great benefits for our herd. Um, I do the, the vaccinating on a weekly basis and whenever I make my vaccination list, I plunk it in on Dell Pro and I take my phone and, and I take, take a gander and I can know exactly where I'm going. I can pinpoint the cow and, and to the stall. It's very, it's very accurate. Also for, for breeding cows, I have two or three cows to breed. It's, it's on my list. I click on the three cows. It populates where they're at. I make my game plan. I say, okay, that cow's at the bunk. I'll, I'll lock that one up before I start thawing the semen out and uh, I can breed two cows at once, I know exactly where they're at, so there's no time wasted looking for cows and it's able to, you know, minimize that locating time and just getting the semen to the cow quickly. When I think of all the, the, the technology, I don't know how it all happened, but all the technology that we have actually have implemented here through all the, the things that Dillaval has, has had to offer, it's quite incredible, you, you know, with herd nav looking inside the cow with their hormones, you have behavior analysis uh, telling you about the rumination and eating and where they are in the barn, where their location is. All these things come together and you pull up a cow cart, it's insane. It's, it's incredible all the things we can know about the cow. Like I said it before, transitions is the name of the game when it comes to farming. If you transition your cows from dry to fresh and you do it at a, at a highly successful rate, you're going you're gonna to find success on your dairy. So, and rumination just allows you to, to, take that, to take that step for sure. If you're looking into behavior analysis and you don't have any sort of rumination or activity system, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big no-brainer. It's taking farming to the next level really. 